Hello, I'm Laura Fry, Senior Curator and Curator of Art at Gilcrease Museum. Today I'm going to take a look at the floral paintings of Joseph Henry Sharp, who was also inspired by gardens throughout his career. Sharp is best known today for his paintings of Native American peoples from the Northern Great Plains and the Southwest. But he was also inspired by flowers. And while he traveled extensively through his career from Cincinnati to France to New Mexico to Hawaii, he was constantly inspired by gardens and foliage of each location. In 1895, he was studying in Paris, and he surely would have seen works by the French Impressionists, like this beautiful landscape by Camille Pizarro from the Metropolitan Museum of Art's collection. And in his own nod to French Impressionism, Sharp painted his wife Addie in a beautiful French garden with the sunlight turning the green leaves into gold behind her. In 1908, Sharp purchased a house and established a painting studio in Taos, New Mexico. And his garden in Taos became a central feature of his home. In this painting, Leaf Down by Studio Door, you can see a little glimpse of their garden. The hollyhocks are just filling the composition and they're even taller than the woman herself. And throughout his travels, Sharp painted still life images of flowers and blooms that capture the distinct personality of each place. Um, you can see that in this painting of seed pods from Honolulu, Hawaii. In these paintings, apple blossoms and peonies capture the ephemeral short-lived beauty of spring and summer blooms. And you can almost smell these flowers in each image. Right now, as I'm filming this, the Gilcrease Gardens remain open to the public from dawn to dusk. We simply ask that you practice safe social distancing while you visit. And in the coming days and weeks, come by to see the wisteria, the dogwoods, the irises, and the best azaleas in Tulsa. Also, you can visit our online collections to see these paintings by Joseph Henry Sharp and many other works by him. Thanks for listening, stay safe, and enjoy the springtime.